Emperor Taizong of Tang of Tang Dynasty China, after subjugating the eastern Turkic Khaganate, began to exert his military power toward the western regions. Then dominated by the Western Turkic Khaganate as well as a number of city-states loosely allied with them, in 640, Emperor Taizong sent the military commander Hu Junji to defeat and annex Gaochang, the first attempt by any Chinese dynasty to set up a permanent military and political presence in the region since Fujian in the 4th century. In 644, after Yanqi, an ally in the campaign against Gaochang, turned against Tang and allied with the Western Turkic Khaganate, Tang's commandant at Gaochang, Guo Siok, attacked and captured Yanqi's king Long Tu Chiji, but Yanqi subsequently escaped. In 648, the ethnically Turkic Tang general Ashina Sher, who was the second son of Shibi Khan, attacked both Yanqi and Kutcha, conquering both Shul and Yushan, then also submitted to Tang, allowing the dynasty to dominate the region until it was briefly seized by Tibet during the reign of Emperor Taizong's son Emperor Gaozong. Background in contrast to its eastern cousin the Eastern Turkic Khaganate, the Western Turkic Khaganate did not pose a major threat to the Tang dynasty in the early years of Tang's existence, as it was farther from Tang territory and not attacking Tang. Moreover, the Western Turkic Khaganate constantly suffered from internal divisions and was unable to focus itself against the Tang. Its hegemony over the western regions therefore remained unchallenged by Tang. In turn, both the western Turkic Khaganate itself and its vassal allies in the region at times nominally submitted to Tang overlordship. For example, in 619, soon after Emperor Gauge established the dynasty in 618 and was still battling for supremacy over China with a number of rival rulers, both the Western Turkic Khaganate's Tong Yehu Khan Ashina Tong and Gaochang's King Qu Yu Boya submitted tributes to him. In 625, Ashina Tong sought marriage with a Tang princess, and Emperor Gauj initially agreed, but the Eastern Turkic Khaganate Silig Kahan Ashina Duobi was displeased about the potential of a Tang Western Turkic alliance and warned Ashina Tong against it such that the marriage never took place. In 626, Emperor Gaozhu's son Li Shimon the Prince of Qin, who had been in an intense rivalry with his older brother Li Jiancheng the Crown Prince, ambushed and killed Li Jiancheng and another brother who supported Li Jiancheng, Li Yuanji the Prince of Qi, at Shandwu Gate. He then effectively forced Emperor Gauge to first create him crown prince and then pass the throne to him. After Emperor Taizong took the throne, in 628, Ashina Tong was killed by his uncle, Ashina Mohejua, who seized the throne. However, some of the people supported Ashina Tong's son Ashina Dilias Khan. Both sought aid and marriage from Tang, and Emperor Taizong declined both. Eventually, in 630, Ashina Daili was able to defeat and kill Ashina Mohejua, again reuniting the Western Turkic Khaganate. Meanwhile, Gaochang's king Hu Yu Wente made a visit to the Tang capital of Chang'e in 630-631, and was welcomed in grand ceremonies. In 632, Ashina Daili, who had lost the support of his people due to his cruelty and suspicions, failed in an attack against Zhu Yinchua, and after the failure, his own substituent tribes Shibai the Guan and the Shibi attacked him and forced him to flee to Kangju, and he soon died in exile. The people supported his cousin Ashina Nishu as duo Lu Khan, and Ashina Nishu nominally submitted to Tang and received Tang titles. The situation continued after he died in 634 and was succeeded by his brother Ashina Tong. There was a further incident in 632 that contributed to the chilling of relations between Tang and Gaochang. The ancient town of Yanqi previously had a direct connection with China via a desert road. 
the subsequent closure of which forced Yankee emissaries to travel through Gaochang, apparently aiding the Gaochang economy in doing so. In 632, Yankee's King Long Tu Chiji requested that the desert road be reopened. Emperor Taizong approved of the request, leading to Gaochang resentment, and Gaochang attacked Yankee, withdrawing only after pillaging. By 638, it was said that Ashina Tong had lost the hearts of the people, and the northern half of the Khanate supported an eastern Turkic prince, Ashina Yugu as Yipujuolu Khan. There were major battles between Ashina Tong and Ashina Yugu, but neither side was able to prevail, and therefore divided the Khanate in two, with the Ili River serving as their boundary. The division continued after Ashina Tong died in 639 and was succeeded by his nephew Ashina Bobu. Campaign against Gaochang. Meanwhile, Gaochang remained hostile to both Yankee and Tang, and also in 638, Gaochang, allied with the Chuyu and Chumi tribes, attacked Yankee, capturing five Yankee cities and 1,500 Yankee men and women before retreating. Qu Wente also entered into an alliance with Ashina Bobu against a Tang ally, Yi Wu, in modern Hami Prefecture, Xinjiang, as well as Yankee. In 639, Emperor Taizong issued an edict rebuking Qu Wente and ordering him to send his official Ashian Ju to Tang in order to discuss Tang Gaochang relations. Qu Wente refused to send Ashina Ju but instead sent another official, Qu Yu Yong, to apologize. Emperor Taizong also ordered Qu Yu Wente to turn over the Chinese who were previously in exile in the eastern Turkic Khaganate who had fled to Gaochang. When Tang conquered the eastern Turkic Khaganate in 630, Qu Yu Wente further incensed Emperor Taizong by trying to persuade Zue and Chuo Zhenzhu Khan Yinan to take a more independent stance from Tang. Emperor Taizong began planning an invasion against Gaochang, and Yinan offered to assist. Although historical records did not indicate any actual Zuin Chua participation, around the New Year 640, after Emperor Taizong's last attempt to get Qu Yu Wente to change his anti Tang stance failed, Emperor Taizong commissioned the general Hu Junji to command an army, assisted by the general Zhu Wanjun, to attack Gaochang. Qu Yu Wente initially did not take the threat seriously, believing that his kingdom was able to withstand an attack from a small Tang army and that Tang could not launch a large army due to logistics issues of marching through the desert. However, by fall 640, who had gotten his army through the desert, almost at Gaochang, and Qu Yu Wente, hearing this, died in anxiety, and was succeeded by his son Q Yu Jishenk, who, rejecting a proposal to make a surprise attack against Qu Yu Wente's funeral procession, first attacked and captured Tiandi, just east of Gaochang's capital. He then marched on Gaochang itself. Qu Yu Jisheng wrote him to apologize for his father's offenses, and who ordered him to surrender, which Qu Yu Jisheng refused. Who put the city under siege, but Ashina Bobu, instead of aiding Gaochang as he promised, withdrew far from Gaochang, while a general that he had sent to defend Kehan Fuchu, in fear, surrendered to Hu. With no Western Turkic aid coming, Q Yu Jisheng surrendered. Emperor Taizong's Chancellor Wei Zheng advised allowing Gaochang to remain as a vassal, with Q Yu Jisheng continuing to serve as king. But Emperor Taizong decided against doing so, instead annexing Gaochang territory and creating two prefectures, Shi Prefecture and Ting Prefecture. He further established the Protectorate General to pacify the west at the fortress Ajawa to keep a military presence. Emperor Taizong created Qu Yu Jisheng the Duke of Jincheng and kept to him as a general at Chang'e. Emperor Taizong tried to strengthen Shi Prefecture's defense by commuting the condemned prisoners' death penalties and instead exiling them to Shi Prefecture, while conscripting people originally sentenced to exile into the army defending Shi Prefecture. 
with a term of service commensurate with the length of exile they were originally sentenced. Between the campaigns against Gao Chang and Yankee, meanwhile, Ashian Bob Yu, who was under attack by Ashina Yugu, formally submitted to Tang in 641, but the submission did not help him in his campaign with Ashina Yugu, and later in 641, one of Ashina Yugu's generals captured Ashina Bob Yu, and Ashina Yugu executed Ashina Bob Yu, reuniting the divided Western Turkic Khaganate. After Ashian Yugu then conquered Tu Huoluo, he attacked Yi Wu in 642, which had by now been converted into Tang Zi Prefecture, although his attacks were repelled by the Tang general Guo Siok. At the same time, Ashina Yugu began to himself suffer dissent within, as he was said to have hoarded the spoils from attacks on Kang Ju and Mi and refused to divide them with his subordinates, and when one of his Generals, Ashina Nishao nevertheless seized some, Ashina Yugu executed him, causing Ashina Nishu's subordinate Hula Wu to rebel. The rebels sought aid from Tang, and Emperor Taizong created Ashina Mohejuo's son as Yipashekui Khan. Ashina Yugu initially prevailed in battle against Yipashekui Khan, but the rebels refused to submit despite the defeats and Ashina Yugu eventually withdrew and took up position in former Tuhuoluo territory. However, for the next several years, the Western Turkic Khaganate appeared to be in a decentralized state. Campaign against Yankee Meanwhile Zhang Qi had remained friendly with Tang, but in all before 644, the Western Turkic general Ashina Kli had taken the Yankee King Long Tu Qiji's daughter to be his brother's wife, and, in response, Long Tu Qiji began to favor the Western Turkic Khaganate and decreased its tributes to Tang. Guo Siok requested permission to attack Yankee, and in 644 Emperor Taizong approved. It happened at the time that three of Long Tu Qiji's brothers were at Xi Prefecture, and Guo made one of them, Long Lipo's Hun, his guide. It was said that because Yankee's capital was surrounded by water, it took little precautions against an attack, and Guo made a surprise attack, crossing the waters at night. In the morning, the Tang soldiers climbed the walls of Yankee, capturing it and Long Tu Qiji. Guo put Long Lipo's Hun in charge of Yankee's affairs and withdrew. Three days later, Ashina Kli arrived with a relief force, but Guo had already withdrawn. He therefore seized Long Lipo's Hun and chased after Guo, who struck back and stopped his advance. Another Western Turkic general, Ashina Chunna, made one of his subordinates, Itudun, the protector general over Yankee the protector general, in the stead of the king of Yankee, thereafter submitted tributes to Tang. But when his emissary arrived in Chang'e, Emperor Taizong rebuked him and stated, I attacked Yankee. Who are you to occupy it? In fear, the Western Turkic protector general abandoned Yankee, and the Yankee nobles supported Long Lipo's Hun's cousin Long Zupo Anaji to be the new king, but continued to be submissive to Ashina Chunna. Meanwhile, Long Tu Qiji and his family were delivered to Chang'e, where Emperor Taizong released them. In 646, the Yipashekui Khan offered tributes to Tang and requested to marry a Tang princess. Emperor Taizong agreed, but ordered him to submit, as dowry, five states that were the Western Turkic Khaganate's vassals, Kucha, Yushan, Shul, Jujupo and Kongaling. There is no historical record of what the Yipashekui Khan's response was but no marriage ever took place. Campaign against Yankee and Kutcher In all some time before 647, Kutcher's king Suvanadeva died, and was succeeded by his brother Harapushpa. Harapushpa decreased his tributes to Tang and also attacked neighboring states submissive to Tang. Emperor Taizong became angered, and around the new year 648, he commissioned Ashina Sheer, a general who was formerly an Eastern Turkic prince.
as the commander of an army to attack Kutcher, with the generals Kibi Heli and Guo Siok assisting Ashina Sheer, and also requisitioned soldiers from the Tyla tribes, the Eastern Turkic people, Tibet, and Tu Yuhun. In fall 648, Ashina Sher first advanced into the Dzungarian Basin and attacked the Chuyu and Tumi tribes, forcing them to surrender. The Tang expedition then struck south to enter the Tarim Basin between Kutcher and Yankee. Ashina Sher made Long Zupo Anaji's cousin Long Jan as Hun the king of Yankee. Ashina Sher then marched on Kutcher. Harapushpa sent his chancellors Nali and Gieliadium to resist Ashina Sher's forward commander Han Wei. Once engagement started, Han pretended to retreat, and when Kutcher forces pursued, Han and the secondary commander Kao Jashu counterattacked and defeated him. Harapushpa took up position within Kutcher's capital Yilawolu. Ashina Sher attacked Yilawolu, and Harapushpa fled. Ashina Sher had Guo take up position at Yilawolu and continued pursuing Harapushpa, who by this point had fled to Bowan. Ashina Sher besieged it for 40 days and captured it, taking Harapushpa and Gieliadian. But Nali escaped and led remaining Kutcher troops and relief forces from western Turkic to attack Yilawolu catching Guo by surprise and killing him in battle. However, after battling both in and outside the city, Nali could not control Yilawolu and was forced to flee. The people of Kutcher then captured Nali and delivered him to Ashina Sher. Ashina Sher made a younger brother of Harapushpa the new king, and after receiving tributes from the western Turkic Khaganate, Yushan, and An, withdrew. Aftermath Emperor Taizong died in 649. Subsequent to his death, a Western Turkic prince that he had supported, Shabalu Khan Ashina Helu, defeated and killed the Yipashakui Khan, taking over Western Turkic, but subsequently broke away from Tang and attacked Tang territory. Emperor Taizong's son and successor Emperor Gaozong launched two campaigns against Ashina Helu. The first, launched in 655 and commanded by Cheng Jiji, ended in failure, as it was forced to withdraw when supplies ran out. The second, launched in 657 and commanded by Su Dingfang, was a thorough victory, as Tang forces captured Ashina Helu and put Western Turkic territory under the control of two Western Turkic princes submissive to Tang. The Zingsi Wang Khan Ashina mission the Ji Wang Jikan Ashina Bujen, becoming the dominant power in the region. The Tang established the four garrisons of Anxi in the Tarim Basin after defeating Ashina Helu's subordinate Juman at Kaskar in 659. The Tibetans invaded the Tarim Basin in the 660s and drove Tang forces out in 670. A Tang counterattack regained the Tarim Basin in 692. The Tang then maintained control over the western regions for another century. But the loss of the Gansu Corridor to the Tibetans after the Inlushan Rebellion caused the four garrisons to be cut off from the Tang Empire and finally lost to the Tibetans for the second and last time in the 790s.